All right, all right, all right. Cheers, everyone. Let's play more Dwarf Fortress. And start by fixing the military squads and then uh, continue finishing, finishing the library and then uh, we'll go attack more goblins when the military squads are back online again. So uh, some sort of bug happened with the military squads when they returned from the missions. Missions, so let's see... Uh, how do I fix that? Can I? Will I just throw everyone out of the squads and then I then I reapply them? I think so. So in the uh, wait. I think this does... If I click this one, will they leave or is it the whole squad? No, this is just cancel. It doesn't do anything in here, actually. Okay, so I have to click on this and do remove assignment. Okay. And now uh, I will do the assignments. I will do the assignments in uh, Dwarf Therapist because this uh, selecting the dwarves from this list it literally takes like 15 minutes, half an hour to do something that takes a couple of minutes from Dwarf Therapist. It's kind of... Hmm. Wait, what? One of them is still on the... Oh, for fuck's sake. One of this... One of them is still on that mission somewhere. Well, they will probably never return. It was a successful... It was a successful mission, so I don't think they... I don't think they got captured or anything like that. Maybe if I leave them there... I don't know what will happen. Also, Sirkard, you asked before were you alive. Yes, you are. Oh, I forgot about that when something else happened. Uh, yeah, that is... Ooh, yeah, missions. Missions, a little bit, a little bit buggy. And not just a little bit, but it's kind of scary to send them on those missions. No matter how much how much you actually want them to send. Want to send them there. Uh, okay, let's see. So it's a... Okay. So it's in the... Military freeze, the spear dwarves, militia one is axis. Militia free. So I'm doing this from dwarf therapist now. So we have uh, all the legendary spear dwarves here, I'm assigning them to the militia free. them into commander squad and fill that up then the militia one is the axe dwarves
There, then, uh, sure. Probably need some new recruits. Uh, the world is world is going good, and the fortress is doing great. Apart from this military bug that we uh, we ran into. Legendary crotch walker. Let's assign those in and see what happens. Shows that the squads are full in here. Oh, actually, the relax squad. Well, the relax squad guys can still be there for a while. So now we should have uh, squads back to normal, like actually, actually normal. So what we can do now is uh, reassign them uniforms, let the game run for a bit, they pick up their stuff. I like how you see in their sprites as they are picking up their things. Or re re picking them, I should say. Okay. Uh, military uniform and, and mining uniform does not function well together, so. I spin will have to drop that one. Let's see if they will find there find their things. I, I I do find it silly that basically when wherever they are on the map, they just drop everything there, all their clothes, and then they go look for new stuff. Like why why not the other way around? <laughs> like why why not go and put their put their clothes away and then start putting on the uniform? Why why drop the clothes wherever wherever he was before? Now they go look for the stuff from a million miles away where they dropped it. Like, just a different order for those and things would be so much simpler. Like, first first go store the items that they, are or they already have on. Simpler life. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Pretty good. I think you are... Okay, you are drinking. But yeah, this is... Uh, this one is an interesting one. Only now notice that they are still somewhere in there. In theory, they could have been captured. Oh. Ooh, the Duchess has been possessed. In theory, this one could be as a prisoner somewhere in there. So maybe I will send the militia free on a mission again. Uh, if I only remember where they actually were. Were they exploring the one site that we did destroy? Was that the one they were on? Maybe.
Ooh, clothier. We haven't had one of those in a while. Legendary clothes coming up. Oh, it's probably because they are uh, they are a weaver. So our original expedition leader. Now, now the Duchess, after being a Baroness and Countess before that, is possessed by someone. See what they are making. Man, they are picking up a lot of stuff. Meanwhile... Have we made any of these things? Were they not high enough quality? Your class table... Guess not. Is done. Nope. That's uh, not here. Crystal glass case. There's a lot of silk in here for some reason, so they are making it out of pigtail cloth, I think, yep. Okay, some, uh, some cloth item coming up. I might actually make her use it herself when, when she gets it done. Okay, but yeah, I think I want to send the third militia out. Hopefully, hopefully the one still on a mysterious mission would actually find their way back. And they didn't have any... Oh, but wait. Uh, now, that the, now that the squads are... Oh, no. Now that the squads are set up, they... Can I can I take you this uh, this away from you and doesn't matter? I can. Okay, because the third squad should not have any anyone at the moment, so I need to take those away. If I don't, then my whole whole setup with uh, with war elephant goes uh, goes a little bit oddly. Yeah, looks like these guys were from a different squad before. I think I got them all now. This this kind of things like that are completely unnecessary. Like 
having to having to do something because the game game has some weird glitch this these are the moments when uh when I don't like the game and they kind of uh, take the interest away a little bit of course it's understandable I've gotten used to this in Dwarf Fortress over the years but uh, right now I kind of I didn't need this <laughs> didn't need this military military buck here so it's in uh, Uh, that's any, I need to reshuffle all the elephants, elephants as well. Well, maybe I do it when I send the send the first and second out. So let's do. I think I need to just in case go and explore. Explore this location <laughs> in case they like uh, left the one guy there or something. I don't know. So let's just go explore that and uh, see uh, see what happens. Oh, is this the one with the baby? Oh crap. <laughs> so that's another thing. When they go on a mission and they have a baby, the the baby returns almost immediately and doesn't go on the mission, but then the baby appears on some random location on the map instead of them coming from here, and then the baby crawls back to the fortress. If the pay, if the mother doesn't return and go pick them up before that, uh, yeah, no, no mothers with babies in the military. I should know. So, so a bulky pigtail shoe. Okay, what the hell is that? Did you make it like a non-dwarf? think so. And the item is an image of Blaine's Titan. Interesting. Image of ditch puzzles to crystalline ore at either mine mail shirt. Well we did that. And a tea tree. Okay. Bulk pigtail shoe, that's uh, that was a weird one. Yeah, I think in a couple of days we'll see the baby return, and then maybe a moment later, sir. So. Oh, some dwarfs were still going on that on that mission. Some mandates going on. Burlash happening. So also the spring is coming, so we might get a couple in siege in the, in the spring as well. Hey, we got the song. And we got the Dwarf and Dance as well. Boom, boom. 
Yesterday we didn't get that at all, and uh, now that was the second time today. Maybe I was not looking at the tavern, tavern, uh, tavern floor. Yeah, I, I, it's by by now I've heard that like 50 times, and like no, never, never gets old. It is so good. It is so good. Okay, this time they actually kept the baby with them. So, let's see. And they also somehow found more stuff from there as well. And someone dropped their pants. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh! Seeking parlay. Well, like clockwork on the fourth day of the new season, <laughs> the goblins are here. Can you please pick up your pants? And, and like, yeah, thanks. Okay, great. Okay, let's see, let's see, go first see what's happened on the mission. That was just go and explore uh, a place we already destroyed in hopes of one dwarf who was somehow missing, I don't know how, would, uh, would find their way back. So we went there and found nothing. And came back. Okay, that was kind of expected, but is the one dwarf still missing? Yeah, okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about that dwarf. Maybe maybe we'll find him on the one of the other sites. Maybe it was not that, but that we attacked. Okay, but goblins are seeking parley. Uh, we will give them, we will give them no parley. We will give them our traps. So let's start prepare. Let's start. Oh crap! Oh crap! These uh, I I didn't build a I didn't build a bridge here. Uh, we need to move these guys first. I don't want them to get killed right away. them here move them here before we uh, before we tell the goblins nay Kids, please don't stay there and play. Thank you. Okay. 
unlock the bastards. Locked, locked, locked. Lock the door. Bull. Rose on. Pull the gates. Closed open, page animal ready, way open. Glow oh oh cats cats. Okay, well that's that's stupid of you. Can you please find your way back? Thank you. Final lock. There we go. Everything ready. Oh, I think so. Hey, goblins. Feel free to come in. Let's see how many do we have. As they are, as the rest of them are entering from the map. Seems much smaller than the ones we've had before, but uh, more will appear from the map's edge. When you say nay and they actually attack. This, yeah, this seems a lot smaller. They are coming through our traps, so we'll probably catch another 10. Another 10 with the cage traps. See, I see more appearing from the map's edge still, so they are not quite done yet. This seems much smaller than the ones we've had. There's 17. Wait, there's only 18 of them? What? What is this? Oh, is this just a... Well, we have we have killed quite many of them, so they... They, uh, they decided to come with a smaller party. What the hell? Yeah, there's some more appearing, but they are coming, coming a little bit slower. Uh, 17. No, there's. Sound like a handful of them. What the hell? Except there's 17 of them. Uh... Oh, crap. I. Yeah, no. No, I. I don't even. Why, why do I even bother with my traps on these? I, I should have checked first. Uh, let's open. Open that one. I'll keep the animal pastures closed. So let's open the left side gate as well. Let's go kill them old fashioned style. We'll catch some of them, some of them there on the, on the traps. I saw some of them. Some of them like escape like immediately or something. Let's go kill them before they uh, escaped the place. This was an underwhelming siege. Goblins. Next time, do better. That 
is probably all the invaders, right? Yep. Why did I even bother moving to... Moving to elephants for that. Most uh, unnecessary siege I've seen in a while. Why? Why even come with like seventeen goblins and call it a siege? Uh, I have two forgotten beasts captured. We have a fire breathing one as a flamethrower. Uh, and then we have one silk silk spitting one, and then in the caverns we have uh, I think there's three roaming free, but we are actually waiting to let them let them come and paint our hallways more red. Um, but I'll uh, I'll wait this this clean up before we invite them in. But yeah, we. Since the previous siege, we took down two of their sites from 100 to 10. So I don't know, they scrapped that force from somewhere else, I guess. One of the... One of the chickens have died, or peacocks, out of old age, I think. Yeah, one of them has died in there, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, have we been able to make some uh, clear glass ones? Yes, we have. Very nice. of barrels so that I can make a... Oh, we actually have one barrel there. So we should be able to make an ashery now. Mm. With the workshops that take buckets, uh, like ashery and dyer's workshop, the color of the workshop comes from the buckets. So I guess we don't have a black one, which, which that was, so let's take, let's take that one. Finish this now before the next one. The 
This new pastor seems to be enough. The moss is actually dense, dancing from spars, so they have uh, plenty of food. No, it's, it's dense in most of the parts. Sent into militia one. So, okay, in order for me to do this, I have to take the second squad and take their war, war animals away so that I can reassign them. Reassign them uh, to the first squad and then then reassign them to ten. I I hope the military squad stay. After this, we will we will stop this um, we'll stop these missions and actually conquering a site if this uh, continues to be as unnecessarily labor intensive from my part to do this. That's it. So ten. Yeah, so you have yours. And you should have two. Have a name at war elephants. Mm. Oh, you have two now. Okay, I'm oh, fine. We already have one. Also, I hope they change it in a way. Well, there's a lot of lot of things they need to change with this. But like, if you have war animals, war animals that do require a pasture, or even if it's a dog, that uh, you can keep them in the pasture and then they still leave for the mission successful, as you don't need to do this manual shuffling. Taking them off the pasture when they leave. So not now. What we will do is um, uh, take. So we will go and go and destroy this site or race with militia one. And they will leave for that. For that, and then we have to take from every every pastor. We have to take the named ones out, so we know who leaves. Because there's no way of telling who which squad these are on. And we take this one. Take the named ones. The war elephants are cool and super super awesome in the missions, but this. Uh, this pastor shuffling is uh, is a little bit too much. So now we should see ten or eleven or so elephants running, running with them to the mission. Hmm. 
looks like some are coming from here some are coming from there there's no named ones here right nope no named ones here nope this was empty yep so when they have gone on the mission then i can reassign the other other el other named elephants to to a pastor and that would be militia too Elephants take their sweet time <laughs> moving. Okay, I don't know what that is doing in there, but uh, let's dump it. Also, they have cleaned the socks from here finally, so that's great. That should be locked, actually. of the elephants going on a mission they are probably finding their way out already from the right edge of the map sure those those ones are already gone so then we should have should have about 10 left on the map maybe nine there's more I think they are still on the way onto the, the, the mission yeah all of all of them have left but what about their elephants? Elephants might be pathing, pathing to wherever the dwarf was, and then uh, only after that go towards the edge of the map. So maybe I'll just wait actually for the whole whole team to uh, return eventually, and then uh, then I'll reassign the elephants. Is, is any elephant looking like they are actually leaving? Maybe they already went. Just assign the elephants in here. If we don't get uh, don't get the squad back like almost immediately, then uh, then we know that something something was odd odd in that. Uh, Commander Squad had only dogs. They did change one, one dwarf, so who might have had an elephant? Yep. 
the unassigned elephants should be here now or on that mission. Okay, here's the interesting thing. We can actually, if we lock this one, lock that one, we can actually invite the forgotten beasts in and have some fun with them. Uh, if we close that one as well. Just making sure no one is running in here at the moment. It seems that they are not. I need to connect that one. Closed, so let's open. Mm. Open the forgotten beasts away in. Like that, and just making sure that is locked, that is locked. We can turn on our Turn on our traps. And uh, let's let them in. Start with one. Okay, they returned, so that was, uh, that was good. Before we welcome some forgotten piece from the cavern one, let's uh, let's take a look how they did. Uh, reports raisingly hailed. We we had a strong positional advantage. We attacked the, one of the goblins, but uh, the leader was his deck snarl enjoyed. Uh, we ripped their mouth, <laughs> uh, smashed their left foot, and then struck the goblin down. Dwarf Ilral channeled Salve confronted the goblin in his deck snarl enjoyed, who was the leader of the goblins, and we struck them down. Uh, one of the other dwarves confronted Goblin Mimale Shameful Marked and struck them down. And we looted treasure from the place. Rampits threw out. On the way out, we struck down one of the goblins. Goblins and as a spoils, we got some crap. But uh, the site remains, we were not able to destroy it still, there's still someone left in there. Let's see after a while if they, uh, if they all, all make it back or not. So we still have, still have this guy missing somewhere, we have no idea where, it, where they are. No news in the messages. And uh, let's see if one of the Forgotten Beasts is coming in or not. So we have Ökur and Mevena we have captured. Uh, oh, there they are, they are coming. Nope, this is waiting, this is waiting from the second cavern. Okay, well that's good to know that they are close by. Uh, what about Rania? They are just hanging around in there and uh, they are not finding a way in, okay. Eku. Mm, Eku is also in the first cavern. Are you not finding a way in either? Oh, I think they are coming. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think they are coming. Okay. 
let's open the second one and now uh, so we seem to have that we had we did have one waiting in there so let's welcome welcome this one into our traps it might actually turn turn into the first cavern as well who knows oh it's coming in okay here's the power of the mine gods mine gods grinder uh let's see this guy is made out of it's eyeless sloth uh, it doesn't have any particular particular armor, so I give this one two tiles into the into the grinder. Oh, it ooh, good job! Oh, it made it through. Nice. This one was tough. Did it dodge or did it just take? Oh, it jumped away. Ah, good job. Good job. It did did take quite a beating. Did take quite a beating. Uh, let's see if it continues to the if it continues to the spear traps or yes it does. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised. It actually, made it through the grinder. Woohoo! But not through the spear traps. Oh, dead. So we have upright spear traps here coming up and down every every 95 ticks with uh, with the repeater there. Uh, okay, but what are these other forgotten beasts doing? What the hell? Uh, I think they are stuck in some ledges in the first layer. First cavern. No, that that's uh, that's our flamethrower. Yeah, they are stuck somewhere that they can't uh, they can't reach us and they can't find a path from anywhere. That sucks. That sucks. This one keeps on trying, but uh, they they are not finding a way. There should be a path, but they they are not willing to climb. Is that it? Okay, okay, Lock these ones. These ones, and when everything stops in here, the mine cards get placed on their bridges. Bridges, we can unlock this door. And that one. And we can put elephants, elephants back to their place again, who returned from the mission. The, the minecarts have had quite a lot of kills on the, on the goblins, but uh, the for the most part, that was uh, that was the second forgotten beast who made it through the minecarts. Every everyone else, every everyone, every other forgotten beast has been killed by those. But uh, the spear traps are spear traps are finishing them pretty well. Because usually, usually, like one strike from the spear trap. Uh, immobilizes them and then they just get killed with the spears uh, spiking through them so many times. Uh, okay, the militia one was the one who was on the mission. Uh, they did all return successfully from that one. So I think I will next send 
Next send the commander squad again. And uh, let's send them on this... Uh, Let's send them on this uh, on this bigger one for uh, for destroy. Yeah, let's do a race in here. Missing citizens. Missing citizens is showing showing red, but we still have one guy missing. Kinda of missing. No idea what's going on in here. Should I maybe take them off that squad and they return on their own? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should like click them here and tell them that they are not in that squad anymore. Maybe they all of a sudden return. I have no idea what's happened because we didn't have anything on the reports that they would have been captured or anything like that. Two, three. Okay. Library. And we can we finally get one last chair there so we could actually get going. Yes, nice. More bookcases maybe? No. Have don't have that many many going at it. Who uh, who created this? All right. Unless it's a masterwork, they don't. We can't see who. See who did it, Solon Lilot. Yes, yeah, so let's try. Let's try to do those with the uh, highest skilled one then. But yeah, I think this is still ready for um, to be a library. So I put some chests in there as well. Library, the rough bastion. Masterworks, no masterworks. Capro, it is. We do have one gold table. The cold table here as well. I don't think we have a golden chair. No.
besides all these all these goblins. Disarmed them. the gold chair not well done enough oh there it is I don't think we got any scrolls or codices from the traders so there wouldn't be any books in here then I think Fully arranged table. So they are coming to the library in hopes of reading something, but we don't have anything. Okay. Let's assign. Let's assign some uh, some of these. So do we have any? You know, some some who have uh, at least a little bit of understanding of uh, of words. So let's put them here as uh, scribes, then scholars. These we have a plenty because we have uh, all these ones. So I think uh, if that was not in the military, they could join a scholar. Then uh, let's see. Have these diagnosticians and such. Scholar out there as well, that's good. We have been having these kilts running for such a long time that I think we gonna have a pretty at least if the if the observing is the is the good one, we'll have uh we'll have a lot of lot of good scholars from here. Trying to pick up like different different professions. Like animal trainer in there, and
Marines and maybe six scholars. I do want I do want us to do some sort of breakthroughs because I think that will help the whole whole civilization when we start building the next ones. Metal smiths in there. I'll just pick someone who's not in the military. Military are not doing anything too special. Uh, an armorer. More scribe in there. We have some paper. We have some paper, but we haven't been doing that much with them. Make scroll. Something to write on. Scroll warriors and sheets scrolls at most twenty or something, and then as long as we have at least a couple of sheets and at least a couple of scroll rollers, like scroll. So let's make the sheets sheets four, and then make a choir. Two sheets and most ten choirs. Yeah, let's do that. Then I actually in the previous fort I traded almost all my paper. But isn't isn't it so that you You mash a plant into slurry and then you press that into paper. So what we need is um, what we need is a screw press. Uh, we still have one uh, artifact artifact in there, but um, you know what? Might as well. Let's uh, let's use that one. Let's use that one and a masterwork for it. Make a badass crew press. Then uh, if I mash a plant into slurry, I think we have these. Let's so test that a couple of times and make it like five. Doing it from here so they are cancelled if we don't have them. Ah, wait, is Kenneth, Kenneth used for paper? Will be good. So when this one gets that done, we get some slurry, and then we do in here uh, press plant slurry into paper. Okay, yeah. So then we do this one on uh, on repeat. Okay, so then we can actually do here is um, work order. Let's blend slurry into paper sheet one. If there is at least one that has not been pressed into paper. And then in here we do Uh, 
Ash plant in the slurry. Let's do like... Let's just do one at a time. Paper slurryable plants. And we want to have at least... We want to have at least 20 of them so that we uh, leave them for proving and stuff. And then we want to... No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, things that we need to add, uh, add a new condition. And then we change this one into sheet. Do you understand this one at, uh, at most? So right now we don't have any. So if I put this one to... No, but wait, we do have sheets. I have not done orders for, for paper making, so let's see if we can figure that out. already taken to the library, that's my question, then it wouldn't show them as, as available. So if I look at this one... No, it's very much still there. Hmm. one if we have we we'll only do this if we have zero zero dose uh, it's not working either We actually have quite a lot of power, but this is this is fine because this will this will make any slurry we make into sheets. That's good. Commander squad already returned. Let's go and see uh, how they did. Are they all already back on the map? They are, and I think I think this messed up again, as they they. They are in civilian clothing. So once again, this squad emptied. It's such bullshit. I think this one, yeah, this one did. Ah, uh, yeah, I have. Okay, we are, we are done sending missions then. I will do one maybe where we conquer the sites and uh, that's it. This is just too messed up. So in these squads, there's actually only the commander left. These guys look that they are on the list, but they are really not. Take them from here and I remove them all. And 
take them from uh, from dwarf therapist and reassign them. So first, first let's empty this team as well. Is this team fine? That team is fine who I never sent out. So I'm I'm using dwarf therapist again to reassign to reassign the dwarves. Yeah, just uh, just a word of warning if you if you send the dwarves on a mission, uh, there's about ninety nine percent chance that uh, something will uh, something will mess up when you do it. Not working really well at the moment. So that squad is back to full. Now, now they actually properly in a squad, so they will start equipping stuff again. Same thing here. Retrieve units DFAC command? I I most certainly will. Thanks for I was just about to ask that if anyone knows some because of course some of these things might actually be caused by DFAC because even that I don't have I only have the protect nicknames running. But uh, gonna for you you never know. So uh fix military Let's save and uh Save and I will try. We do have that one dwarf somewhere in there that I took away from the squad. First, first put that on. Let's see what the DF DF access. Retrieve. Uh, I don't think it's actually on the current version. At least it doesn't seem like it's. Fix dead units, that's a thing, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's, uh, that's a thing at the moment. Retrieve. 
yeah, there's no, it's not on the current version. Not in the current version, it seems. And looking at the other fixes here, like there's nothing really related to those ones. I think dead units, dead units does this clear the list, not related to this at all, but... Uh, Move dead units from the list so migrants can ah uh, yeah this uh, it's a different fix. Yeah yeah because the uh, the DF hack is uh, well it's very much in alpha and they have added some things that they have been able to add to the Steam version, um, but. Uh, more, more will come. Okay, but yeah, let's uh, let's kill some of these goblins here. It's been it's been a long time. Sometimes they fail the pitting itself, so then I, they still come through the stairs to the, to the military. I have to I have the elephants bastard yes the last squad that was on a mission they um, they only had dogs Well, it just doesn't traumatize the baby too much. Well, too late. <laughs> um, yeah, don't see, don't see any elephants in the meeting areas. Let's clean up the mess a little bit. We actually have bookcases, but uh, but I said I don't think we have any any written works yet. And why why do you keep messing? Okay, here you are. 
you are messed up. Uh, let's... Okay, at least those guys have shoes. These guys have shoes. Those guys don't all have shoes, so let's reassign. These guys are messing shoes quite a bit, so let's reassign. Those guys seem fine. They like, um... They like annoyingly... Like, stop midway of get putting their armor on when they go and do something else. And then uh, all of a sudden, oh, I'm embarrassed, I don't have shoes. Well, maybe you should have picked them from that stock bar right there, where we have like 200 of them. Composed of salt. You know what, I, now that you mentioned it, because we had that one, one dwarf stuck in there. One dwarf stuck in there, maybe. Because I had one full squad stuck early on. I, after that, started being very careful. And kind of uh, take all the animals off the pastures. But now that, now that you mentioned it, that one dwarf might actually be there because of that. So let's triple double check and uh, and uh, take all these off from the from the pastor for a short moment. I don't think I don't think I have any anyone in the chain, any war dog in a chain at the moment. Gauge, 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 chained. These are not assigned to anyone because they don't have a name. Pretty sure, at least. Okay, but let's uh, let's see what elephants do. Elephants are so so insanely slow that. All right, let's see if this uh, if this one finds some of the other ones in that. Uh... No, wait, did they already die? Uh, no, they went probably off the off the map. Gigantic crap composed of salt. First cavern is kind of has these kind of islands almost. Like literally that thing already die. Okay, not yet. Cause there's two forgotten beasts in like isolated islands. Isolated islands in the first cavern. They have no path to us and they have no path to each other. A bit, a little bit silly. I'm actually thinking, should I? You have you have lost all your all your animals. Let me clear out all all animals from all the squads. Is there a faster way to do this? Like can does someone dumb know? Like am I in in this interface? Like can I can I somehow mass <laughs> mass unassign work animals? Or is is this the only only window? This is the best way I figured out how to either assign or unassign. 
like go from the squad equip and click these magnifying glasses. And then I keep pressing the same ones because it's so hard to keep track. Yeah. This is this is what I would like to do at the moment with this. Uh, I would like to try to destroy the goblins, goblins a little bit and then take one of their sites. But to be honest, I'm I'm not sure if I want to want to go through go through the trouble right now of uh, just doing this. Like simple things that should be simple and they are kind of uh, Great, the raid, raid stories are great and fun, but then uh, if it takes me, like, uh, military squads get broken, then uh, they don't return at all because I forgot someone in the pastor, then I need to send the war elephants and take them off the pastor, put them back in the pastor. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we are attacking the goblins anymore, apart from that one attack that we go and try to conquer one of the sites and hopefully that at least works. I keep pressing the same thing. I think I unassigned all these guys, didn't I? Yeah. Let's believe I did. And the third one never had any. So I think all the all they are unassigned. Now I should see them from here. Should see them from here. That's if I could figure out some sort of so when we have the basically I should have a sword in this column none of the okay, maybe maybe that's a better sword basically okay you still have an owner you still have an owner So, can I click from... Why can't I click to the dwarf from the animal? Oh, come on, come on interface, please. Sarvesh <sighs> Sundzalu. Uh, today is a frustrating day. I I wanted to have a little bit of fun with this fort. A little bit of fun with this fortress in the end. Man, these things are tedious right now. Uh, this, I already said it two hours ago that things things that I were doing was was not fun. Uh, okay, profession sword. So then another way around. So then I see that. Okay, that's owned by Varakim, that's fine. We know that Varakim... No, wait. Why is it showing that it's owned by Varakim when Varakim is dead? <laughs> Son... Son of a gun. <laughs> um... Golden, golden Lynch, golden Lynch, golden Lynch. Golden Lynch. Now, now nothing, none of the bets is assigned. But that is an interesting thing. 
the, this one is still being shown as owned by, so maybe I should assign that one to someone else so that it gets cleared that it's owned by a, owned by a dead one. Now all the other war animals are not, not owned. Everything else that is owned here is a non-war animal. They are fine. We also have too many animals. Okay, let let Tuma. Let's uh, let's go in here. Uh, let's assign that one to you. Yeah, now it's owner. Owner is saying that, prob that probably wasn't causing anything, but. Uh, it's kind of silly that uh, the dwarf is showing. Dwarf is showing a uh, a dog is showing a dead unit as its owner. But yeah, this um, these things are obviously flawed at the moment. Like sending the missions, missions kind of work, but then they bug out or something weird happens. Uh, animal handling could be better, so uh, this will hopefully improve in the somewhat near future, like within the next couple of years. And uh, we can do those things uh, then a bit, a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, we we do have one dwarf somewhere. We don't know where they are. They were shown. I actually don't have don't have them on the squad anymore. And also, why do you why do you keep like please please put the stuff on? This is the, and this is another thing that is uh, people have. People have told me that they have been doing like redoing, redoing squads. Um, redoing squads in order to actually get them wear the uniforms. And things like that. Oh, hi elephants. And then uh, once again they dropped their this one dropped their clothes somewhere in completely random place, and they were taking their stuff uh, stuff back to their room. And then instead of actually going and take the uniform, they come here for a drill instead of actually getting to. Ah, oh, jeez. And this was working. F the military was kind of fine until I sent them for the mission. And also, can someone take care of these bodies, please? Ah, everything, everything is annoying me right now. I think I, I think I need a short break. I still want to play, but I need a break. I, I know it's time starting to get annoyed at the game, and that's, uh, that's not a good, uh, good place to be in. So I think I will have a short break, and uh, we'll see what we do. Do we? Do we, leave, do we run with this fortress so that we could get some scholarly work done, or uh, or not? Uh, okay, can this miasma please go away? Uh, I think those are all done. Just making sure that we are not dumping some uh, some dwarves' clothes here. That's fine. And then, uh, like, there's, there's refuse here that they could take care of. They don't, but then uh, they immediately find... Well, actually, the kids find the time, I guess. The kids, they immediately find the time when I do the manual dumping. Like, why couldn't you take the refuse before? Like, isn't dumping also refuse? Okay, but 
now they are. Well, I I will maybe I will I will maybe get them wear their stuff uh, in a while. But I usually do is I I keep assigning to I keep assigning the uniform like this, and then uh, eventually they have the right stuff on. Right now they uh, they feel like doing individual combat drills, even that uh, it's not their scheduled time. Yeah, well, I will I will wait a little bit with the elephants, and uh, just in case that one dwarf returns, and uh, then we'll have to repaster them before they die out of hunger. Let's take a, let's take a short break and continue, continue for a bit. Uh, Say whatever I do, I want to wrap this wrap this fortress up, and then uh, we would be starting a new one for this civilization on uh, on Thursday. Right now, right now, dwarf fortress is fighting fighting against me, <laughs> fighting against me to keep this fun into the end. Yep, see you guys in uh, in a moment. <laughs> 